Emmeline Pankhurst was a pioneering figure in the fight for women's suffrage in the United Kingdom. Born in 1858 in Manchester, England, she grew up in a politically active family. But Pankhurst's journey into activism began in the late 19th century when she be became involved in the women's suffrage movement. She quickly rose to prominence as a passionate and fearless, fearless advocate for women's rights. In 1903, she founded the Women's Social and Political Union, an organisation dedicated to achieving women's suffrage through militant and direct action attacks. Under her leadership, the organisation became known for its radicalism, employing tactics such as hunger, hunger strikes, vandalism and political protests to draw attention to the cause. Though often imprisoned, it didn't stop her from her activism. She continued to put pressure on the British government to improve women's rights. In 1918, Pankhurst's efforts finally paid off when the Representation of the People's Act granted voting rights to certain women over 30. It wasn't for everyone, for every woman, but at least it was a start. Emily Pankhurst's legacy is one of courage, resilience and determination. It is thanks to her and her group that women finally got the right to vote and be part of the democratic process. And for that reason, it is reason enough to pay tribute to her. Emmeline Pankhurst's way of um, activism, which was quite militant at times, and she didn't, you know, back out of hunger strikes or noisy protests in the streets. It certainly inspired activists later on to not just be, you know, um, silently protesting, but she she already stood up. And this was like a real lady. She was from good class and she did all these things and she didn't back out. So that is definitely an inspiration.